in this session we are dealing with the distinguished test of the organic compound alcohol phenols and ether chapter so dear all there are some specific distinguishing tests for which one alcohols and phenols let's go for the first one we have lucas test lucas test dear all first of all we have to know what do you mean by lucas reagent for this reaction we are using a reagent called lucas reagent what is lucas reagent it is a mixture of concentrated hcl with zinc chloride zncl2 this is called lucas reagent so dear all lucas reagent is concentrated hcl and zinc chloride mixture then what is the purpose of what is the purpose of this lucas test to distinguish between to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary alcohols if if they given three test tube they contain primary secondary and tertiary alcohol if you want to distinguish them through a chemical test we can use which one the test called lucas test what is lucas reagent we already said here all concentrated hcl with zinc chloride let's go for the reaction what is the reaction we are all primary alcohol secondary alcohol tertiary alcohol when you react with which one our lucas reagent okay same thing when you treated with a lucas reagent primary secondary tertiary alcohol so primary secondary tertiary this is the one all of you this is primary this is secondary this is tertiary alcohol when you react with our lucas reagent the observation you will get a turbidity you will get the reaction then uh, the reaction the reactivity is different tertiary alcohol will give you a immediate turbidity turbidity what does it mean by turbidity that precipitate wise there's a cloudiness right that tertiary alcohol will give you immediate turbidity you can see that in which one this which one having high turbidity here is the high turbidity which means it's a tertiary alcohol tertiary alcohol react with the lucas reagent faster whereas secondary alcohol will give you turbidity will give you turbidity only or uh, after 5 minute turbidity will be given after turbidity after after 5 minute which means secondary alcohol reactivity towards lucas reagent is little slow so you can see that a small turbidity is there but it will appears only after 5 minute then what about primary alcohol normal condition there is no reaction it will stay as it is so primary alcohol generally they won't react with the lucas reagent immediately but it can give turbidity only by heating so turbidity turbidity only by heating only by heating so dear all of you what is mean by lucas test lucas test this test which is used for the distinction of which one primary secondary tertiary alcohol because they are reacting in different way who is reacting so faster with which one uh, the turbidity given by tertiary alcohol right tertiary alcohol will give you immediate turbidity Ter secondary alcohol will give turbidity after 5 minute and primary alcohol only by heating will give the turbidity next reaction is called neutral ferric chloride test dear all of you neutral ferric chloride test is a test for phenol this is a special test for phenol if they given phenol with some other functional group you can use this test because this test is given by only phenol you know what is the reaction phenol means what benzene with oh right phenol means benzene with the oh when this phenol treated with what is the reagent we are using neutral ferric chloride fecl3 neutral ferric chloride what's going to happen dear all what are the ions in phenol h plus and o minus which mean h plus ion and phenoxide ion phenoxide ion what are the ions in fecl3 fe3 plus and cl minus yes or no fe3 plus and cl minus so what happened this h plus combined with a cl you will get hcl i'm not balancing them just what is observation this h plus combined with cl you will get hcl and this fe will combine with which one our phenoxide ion which mean fe it will combine with our phenoxide ion which mean o this is our phenoxide ion right this is our phenoxide ion around six time will be there with the overall charge of the complex is three minus this complex having a purple violet colored violet colored complex 
So this is the conclusion dear all. Neutral ferric chloride test. FeCl3 test is a test used for phenol. This test is only given by phenol with a violet coloration. Phenol when treated with a neutral ferric chloride, you will get a complex with the FeO, the benzene phenyl ring with overall six times the charge is three minus. This having a violet colored complex. This test is given by only phenol. Last test, iodoform test. In the aldehyde ketone chapter also we discussed about iodoform test. Iodoform test in alcohol chapter we can say that it is given by the alcohols which contain which contain a special groups those alcohol having a special group called CH3 CHOH group if the alcohol having this special group you can say that it can give iodoform test for example let me take a alcohol called CH3 CHOH CH3 what is this alcohol name you know propan to all right propan to all is it having that special group yes CH3 CHOH group is there so he is ready to undergo iodoform test what is iodoform test we studied in aldehyde chapter treating with NaOH and iodine then heat it Take your uh, compound, treat with NaOH and iodine, then heat it. What is the what is the formation? Iodoform. What is iodoform? CHI3. CHI3 is called iodoform. It's having a yellow color, dear all. You will get a yellow precipitate like this. So, iodoform test is given by aldehydes, ketones and alcohol. If it is an alcohol, they must contain this special group. Which group? CH3, CHOH group. What is the test? Treated with the sodium hydroxide and iodine your compound and heat it. You will get iodoform plus sodium combined with the iodine. You will get sodium iodide along with the water one more product will be there what is that dear all here you have one two three carbon right you have three carbon whereas in your product side you have only one carbon so two carbons are missing right remaining carbons you write it as its acid what is the two carbon containing acid ch3 coh but it not exist as acid because sodium is there he will replace this hydrogen so this is the way so dear all iodoform test is given by the compound alcohol which contain CH3, CHOH. The observation means the formation of iodoform with yellow color. Let's go for the question. So once again all of you, what are the distinguishing tests we studied in this chapter in alcohol? One is Lucas test. What is the purpose of Lucas test? To distinguish between primary, secondary, tertiary alcohol. Second test is called what? That a second test is what we called Second test is called neutral ferric chloride. Neutral ferric chloride test is only given by phenol, the violet color. And what about the last one? Iodoform test is given by alcohol. They must contain this special group. Let's see all of you. Question. Give a chemical test to distinguish between pendant 2 ol and pendant 3 ol. What is pendant 2 ol? CH3, CHOH, CH2, CH2, CH3. Yes or no? Pendant 2 ol. Pendant 3 ol means what? CH3, CH2, CHOH, CH2, CH3. Can you tell me, dear all, which test can be used to distinguish between them? Yes, iodoform test. Can you see that particular group in this compound? CH3, CHOH. Yes, it can give iodoform test. It can give iodoform test. Whereas this compound not having that particular group, it can't. Next one, benzoic acid. What is benzoic acid? Benzene with the COOH. What is phenol? Benzene with the OH. Phenol, if there no confusion, we have already studied that. Phenol keep, give a special test. What it is called? Neutral ferric chloride test. That violet colored complex is given by only phenol, not by other functional group. Next one, methanol. What is methanol? CH3OH all. Methanol. What is phenol? Benzene with the OH. What we can use again? Same. Phenol can give which test? Neutral ferric chloride test. Methanol and other functional group can't give this test. Clear all of you? Next question. Give a simple chemical test to distinguish between them. Ethanol. What is ethanol? CH3, CH2, OH. What is phenol? Benzene with the word OH. Dear all of you, come on. Which test can be used? Shall we use again neutral ferric chloride test? Yes, because phenol can give that violet color with a neutral ferric chloride. He can't. Propanol. What is propanol? CH3, propanol, right? Propanol. CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. Propanol. 2-methyl propan 2-ol. What is propan means 3-carbon. 
second position methyl second position alcohol is the structure is correct or not 2 methyl propane 2 ol dear all of you which test can be used this is a primary alcohol right because oh connected carbon is directly connected to one carbon it's primary here oh connected carbon is directly connected to three carbon it is tertiary which test can be used to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary alcohol that is our lucas test right so lucas test can be used here what is the observation you know lucas test means when tertiary i mean if you treat sorry tertiary alcohol when you treat it it will give you turbidity immediately whereas primary alcohol won't give turbidity immediately it will give turbidity only by heating so dear all only three tests are there in alcohol phenols and ether chapter study these three tests and apply into this type of question these are the previous board questions clear all of you so these are the distinguishing tests from the chapter alcohol phenols and ether hope you clear let's meet in the uh, so with some other concept in the other video Videos. Thank you all. Bye. Brilliant Katha, your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Katha.